It's gun season in Missouri and Adam and I have seen a bunch of bucks, while Aaron and Seth tagged one early, up close and personal. Growing Deer TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops, also by Reconics, Trophy Rock, Muddy Outdoors, Non-Typical Wildlife Solutions, Eagle Seed, Nikon, Winchester, Redneck Hunting Blind, Dead Downwind, Record Rack, Antler Dirt, Lacrosse Footwear, Scent Master, Flood Sport Arrows, and Prime Bows by G5. Adam and I have been hunting my farm almost every day during Missouri's gun season. Most of our observations have come out of bedding areas. We like to hunt cover when the bucks are heavily seeking does because oftentimes does will get into cover to try to avoid being harassed by numerous bucks. It's always exciting to see a large set of antlers coming through the cover because you can't quite see the body oftentimes. You know the antlers look good, but you're waiting for that glimpse of the chest and the back to see if it's a four-year-old or older buck. After several days of hunting, I haven't tagged a buck during rifle season, but I've got some days left and I'll be out on the stand this afternoon. You recall that Seth and Aaron had an extremely unusual hunt earlier this year when they both tagged great bucks out of the same tree during the same afternoon. Stop baby. We doubled scored. We doubled up, baby. We doubled up. It's the opening evening of Missouri rifle season. Strong south winds, 25, 30 mile an hour. We uh, got the buddies holding us in the tree and uh, we'll see what happens. After a couple hours in the stand, they heard that unmistakable sound of a deer trotting through the leaves. During the rut and you see a doe that appears receptive trotting through the timber, you never know what's gonna happen next. buck was a telltale sign that that doe was receptive the way he was trailing her and you know they were both excited waiting to see what's coming next. Searching through his Nikons it wasn't long till Aaron saw a great set of antlers coming through the woods. Light left and he come right in on us. First day, baby. 
Thank you, sir. I hope he didn't break his horns off on that tree. Did you see him hit it? Not only was this action close and intense, but this buck runs into a tree and busts an inch off one of his main beams. Even after Aaron shoots and the buck crashes into a tree with all that noise, another buck shows up. That's the power of a receptive doe and why so many hunters love hunting during the rut. Oh, dude. That is it. That's that 9.8 from last year. That's Katie's 9. He broke off this off right now. Look how fresh that is. He broke that off hitting that tree. Dude, he is a hoss compared to last year, ain't he? He put that right there is why you pass deer, ain't it? A deer we call Katie's Nine. I actually had a couple encounters with it last year. Brought my wife to be now. She decided she would, she didn't want to take it either. Wanted to pass it. And uh, she had her heart set on coming back this year and killing it. And little did she know that that won't be happening now, obviously. So it, it might not be a wife to be anymore. I drug I drug a doe out for you, I believe, this year. So time to time to pay me back. I'll lead the way. I think it's up here. You didn't even follow me. Aaron and Seth provided us another great action-packed hunt, and now it's Seth's turn while Aaron will be filming. I can't wait to watch their next adventure. Adam and I have been so busy hunting during the rut that I haven't had time to set many traps yet, even though Missouri's trapping season opened on November 15th. Last night, we took three large male coons, three large turkey nest predators removed from the proven grounds. Missouri's firearm season closes soon and the rut is winding down, so I'll concentrate on hunting food sources in the afternoons from here on out. Once we start setting more traps, we'll be glad to share our techniques and tips so you can work on balancing the predator-prey populations on your proven grounds. 16 pound male. You know, I've trapped coyotes that didn't weigh 16 pounds and the raccoons are fierce predators. Can you imagine what that male raccoon would do if it found a turkey nest, young turkey poults, or even a brand new fawn? That little six pound fawn doesn't have a chance against that big predator. I'll be sharing my trapping techniques, including where I locate traps and what I use as bait in upcoming episodes of Growing Deer TV. So if the predator-prey population needs a little help coming back and balance where you hunt, stay tuned. With only a couple days of gun season left, Adam and I are getting out of here to go get up a stand. I hope you have an opportunity to get out this week and enjoy creation, and most importantly, take time and listen to what the Creator is saying to you. Thanks for watching GrowingDeer.tv.